What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to episode number 14 of the Ultimate Team. First of all guys, I would like to wish you all a very, very happy new year. Hopefully you had a fantastic night last night. If you got any crazy drunken stories or any stories in general about your, your goings on last night, feel free to leave them in the comment section and perhaps at the end of episode 16... I will read out the best ones or my favourite ones. Uh, so here we are guys, we I have still got this team, this Serie A team, um, and I'm getting a bit bored of it um, just as a team for the fact that it, it's it's a bit boring just using one team, you know, the, I want to want to experience a few different teams. So in this episode we do end up changing teams, whether or not that is a prosperous adventure will left be left to be seen guys. But uh, we score a penalty there in the 8th minute with Muriel. And uh, he is very good in this game um, because, you know, he, he's a fraction of the price of most good strikers and he's got four-star skills and four-star weak foot and he's very fast. And that's all you really need from a striker. But I do want to get Pato in this team for the simple fact that I really, really like Pato. I'm gutted he's only four stars, this uh, four-star skill moves this year. But yeah, so we make it 3-0 there, a goal with Gambarini in the 40th minute. And uh, this this game at this point is is going swimmingly well. You know we're going to get a, another three points in the division two that we're in now. We need 17 points to win the division, and in 10 games that's not really a, a difficult task, I'd say. Um, but we do end up conceding one goal just before half time. Josie out the door there, scoring to make it 3-1. But there was still time for us to get one more goal. And look at the look at the movement. And and speaking of the movement, actually. Um, whether it be episode 15 or episode 16, I've actually got a very, very interesting um, video that I've almost finished now. Uh, like I said, you guys, with tutorials and stuff that's coming into this uh, series, I've got a, a, a tutorial on basically options, passing options, and, and where I see things and how I see my players move and stuff. So uh, that should be a cracking video. I've just got a, a little bit of editing to do on that. So probably about another three or four hours worth. So I don't know if that will be out today or be out tomorrow. But still, we uh, we make it 5-1 and then we're going through in the 84th minute there after scoring in the 82nd minute. And Freddy Guarin makes it 6-1 and that was indeed the final score. Now, if you remember in the last episode, guys, we picked up, t what was it, 28 um, BPL players for 300 coin open bids. And uh, just showing you right about now, that some of those, some more of those have been selling for the 500 buy now that I relisted them for. So you actually make, you know, 190 coins profit per player, which is awesome. Jelovic there selling for 500. Forster selling for only 400, so you make uh, 95 coins on him. A uh, few other players sold. I finally sold that Robinho for 14,750, made about only 500 coins on him. Um, but all of, all, of these, uh, all of these players that you get to see here, guys, I made some profit on, you know. And like I say, when you're doing that, when you're buying players and selling them and playing games in between time, your coins start racking up really, really fast. If you're the sort of person, though, that buys a load of players, s sits them on the trade pile and then just literally waits there and waits for them to sell, um, you're going to end up wasting your time. So I really like to play games in between. But I also picked up a Kaka there, guys, for 3,500 coins. He should go on to sell for about 4,500 coins. Picked up this Corrin for 200. He'll go on to sell for 600. The Brunt I got in the free gold pack. Uh, and the Rositsky I also got in the free gold pack. So I'm just going to try and sell those for all I can. The Ronaldinho there I picked up for 2,500 coins. That's really cheap for him in a 3-5-2. Uh, he should sell for around 3,500 coins. And John Terry in a 4 triple two picked up for 4600 coins he will go on to sell for around 6000 coins if i wanted it but i wanted a quick sale so i put him up for five and a half thousand coins and pedro there picked him up for three thousand coins a bit of a mistake there he actually only goes for around 31 to 3200 coins but i'll try and sell him on the off chance that somebody buys him just because um and we picked up Higuain there for 3500 coins and sold him on or sell him on for 4500 uh, buy now um, so there's the trade pile guys we've got a lot of money in that trade pile right now and 11,000 coins up in the coin section and as you can see now we've got 19,000 a few more things had sold and uh, I I bought them but the, you know sometimes when something sells uh, especially like formation cards and stuff if something sells and somebody uses it it's just no longer in your um, trade pile as sold that's kind of what happened there um, I sold a few things and they just they gone um, but uh, we're selling some of the fitness cards that I don't need and picked up some more formation cards and the formation method that I used is pretty hard now because now since I've uh, spoke about it uh, a lot of people do it but there still are some great bargains out there for the formation cards um, 
but uh, just showing you what was going down. And then we've got this uh, this team here. We've got a few players out of contract. Muriel, um, the, I think that's Guarin and Amero. And f remember those four bronze packs that I opened a couple of episodes ago, guys? All the contracts that I picked up from them come in handy in this situation. So I can give these players three or four contracts and um, you know not have to waste any money buying contracts or anything like that and get another three or four games out of them and earn myself another like you know two, three thousand coins which is awesome because I can use those coins to go and buy some more contracts. Um, so that's pretty awesome. But also, guys, with the coins that I made, I had, I built this team. It's very cheap, and it's not quite as effective as I'd like it to be just yet. I really want to improve the midfield. Uh, I want to get Hulk on the right wing, and I want to improve the two centre midfielder spots. But I wanted to build a Brazilian skill team. So I've got a, a few five-star skillers in here. We've got a Felipe here with five-star skills. Uh, I've got Rafael Sobis and Ronaldinho also with 5 star skills and then my two wingers and Welliton up top have all got 4 star skills. I wanted to really kind of, I really want to try and bring my FIFA 11 days back you know where I, I do a lot of skilling and try and score like really fancy goals and whether or not that works in this series will be left to be seen. I've already got more losses than I care to have you know my record's 19 and 6 and uh, at this stage I'd like to have only lost maybe one or two games. But we go into the Gold Cup with that Brazilian team, guys, and uh, we come up against this team, and it's it's just so good. It's so much pace. He's got Royce, uh, Young, and Walker up front. Uh, he's got a really solid defence, you know, Boateng there and Hummels in defence. So solid and with Johnson and Clichy, so it's fast, you know, and then he's got the informed goalkeeper. It's going to be a tough game no matter what, and I win the ball clean as you like there, and the ref gives a penalty, uh, and he gives the ball to Royce in the 21st minute and unfortunately he uh, he puts it into the back of the net to make it 1-0 to this guy um, and uh, like that was frustrating for me that he actually uh, got the penalty because if you go back and watch that tackle there it was a perfect tackle and we get some more FIFA aids there the keeper punching it up my defender heading it into his strike or into his midfielder there and Juan Mata making it 2-0 and um, you know you know when it's one of those games that's just going to go against you and sometimes you've just got to sit there and, and resign to the fact that it's against you and once again there I make the tackle with David Luiz but Theo Walcott still manages to walk away with the ball and uh, yeah this, this guy was taking pretty much all of his chances he was very very clinical I'm not going to not gonna lie you know he was very clinical but I did get an option not an option but an opportunity to get back into the match in the 60 odd minute um, and Rafael Sobis there scoring on his debut in the 58th minute and uh, I thought I'd have a chance to come back there so I go ultra attacking as always I would uh, but almost straight after kick off here he goes down the right hand side with Theo Walcott who's very very fast he crosses it in and Marco Royce is there just for the easiest header of your life and uh, I swear, sometimes when I go ultra attacking, it works out ridiculously well for me. But probably about 75% of the work time I go ultra attacking when I'm losing a game, I end up getting battered because of it. And if I stay on my default, um, you know, balanced sort of tactic, I probably have actually a better chance of getting back into the game because I've already scored one that, you know, maybe I, I should be able to come back. But we go into the Gold Cup again, guys, and I come up against another solid team in the first round of the Gold Cup. Now, in my experience, the Gold Cup is for free wins in the first two or three rounds, you know, and that's exactly what I was looking for. I was looking to come up against a few noobs, a few bronze teams, just to get into a bit of a stride on FIFA. But what happened was I came up against this awesome team. He's got Javier Hernandez, Nani. Uh, you know, he's, he's got a really fast team again. And he scores a nice goal there with Javier Hernandez after a sweet passing move in the 24th minute. And there was nothing I could do about that goal. Uh, and there was nothing I, you know, nothing I could really do. But this, this was an e even game and a very open game um, other than a few things. And I step inside there with Freddy Guarin. A really nice finish there as well. And rockets it into the back of the net in the 25th minute. And uh, Freddie Guarin putting me back in uh, contention in this game. But uh, just a few minutes later again, uh, the pace is just crushing my defence. Like, I know I've got Ogbonna and Gambarini, but when you've got, like, Hernandez coming at you, they're not fast enough to, to deal with that sort of pace. They really aren't. Um, but, uh, yeah, and, and again here, you know, Fernando Torres goes through, steps inside, takes a shot. Again, the, you know, the keeper parries it, drops to who? Javier Hernandez yet again. I don't know where my defence was trying to defend that goal um, and that made it 3-1 guys but this was an even game this was an open game one of those games where it's back and forth you know like we we'd both had like similar sort of opportunities he'd just taken his where I hadn't taken mine and he paused the game for whatever reason and upon unpausing it I just I don't know what I was thinking a rush of blood to the head um, and Ogbonna gets sent off in the 45th minute 
and that made things hard. And like you look at the stats there, I've controlled the possession. We've both had chances. He's winning 3-1. The fact that I've got 10 men now probably means, you know, I'm in the shit because, like I said, he had uh, he had um, Hernandez up front. And then for what I don't know, Gambarini gets a second yellow card and gets sent off as well. And that leaves me with zero centre backs now. So. I, I don't even. That was never a yellow card, you know, especially not to to make it a second red. But it actually finished three one, which probably goes to show a little bit how much I was controlling the game. But uh, I still I still lost two more games, which is really really bad. But guys, thank you very much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed this, leave a like, a comment, and subscribe if you haven't. But thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Cheers.